Well, hello, beautiful people. I hope that you are all so very well. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is the Black History Not Taught in Schools mini series featuring the Urban Intellectuals Black History flashcards. So, this video is not sponsored. I am simply using these flashcards to share information. So, again, this is Black History Not Taught in Schools, where we go over two Black History figures, icons, that aren't taught about to us in school. So, I have Volumes 1 and volume two here, volume two is exclusive to the women of black history. So if you are interested in looking up these people, just look them up. Um, this is just the basic information. And if you see anybody that you want to look up more information on, then yeah, go ahead and do it. If you are interested in the flashcards, then you can go to urbanintellectuals.com and get these flashcards from there. There are five volumes at this time, I do believe. So, yeah. There you go. So, let's get into day 12. So, we have Elijah McCoy. Let me see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Elijah McCoy, May 2nd, 1844, October 10th, 1929. Elijah McCoy. So he was a Canadian American inventor and engineer. He was a son of former slaves from Kentucky who escaped via the Underground Railroad to Canada. Although a great financial sacrifice, McCoy's parents sent him to Edinburgh, Scotland. He studied mechanical engineering. He noted, oh, he is noted for 57 U.S. patents. Most involved the lubrication. Most involved the lubrication of steam engines. Sold many of his patents for a fraction of their worth. Never capitalized on his own inventions. The devices he designed made others millionaires. His oil drip cup invention was so amazing. People termed. People term the phrase the real McCoy, which now refers to something authentic and of high quality. So, whenever you hear somebody say it's the real McCoy, this is who they are referencing. Whether they know it consciously or not, this is who they are referencing. So, he got to go to Scotland to learn mechanical engineering. And of he the things that he designed made other people millionaires. And in the time where steam engines were a big deal, he should have been a millionaire. And if he would have capitalized on all of his 57 patents, we would probably, I mean, his descendants would be living large. But, yeah, the term the real McCoy came from this man right here. So, if he is somebody that you are interested in looking up more, then feel free to do so. Yeah, like the, he's got a fancy beard. I like it. But, so we also have Carol Mosley Braun. August 16th, 1947 to present. So, she is an attorney, activist, and politician. She earned a law degree in 1972 and took a position at the U.S. Attorney in Chicago in 1973. 
while serving as Democratic representative to Illinois House of Representatives, she advocated for social change, education reform, and health care reform. She is the first African-American woman to be elected to the U.S. Senate in 1992. She fought for civil and women's rights and called for more restrictive gun laws during her time as senator. Served as a U.S. ambassador to New Zealand and Samoa under President Bill Clinton in 1999. She campaigned for the Democratic presidential nomination in 2003 but dropped out early in the race to join with the private to join the private sector so another figure here in black history so carol mosley brown i have never heard of her or anything i don't know if she is still around i don't know if she's still I mean, Democratic Party, I don't know if she is still in the Senate or what, but yeah, those are the two figures that we have for today, day 12 of this Black History mini-series, so a lot of really good information, so Elijah McCoy is I feel this is one of the figures that he may be taught in uh, in schools, but I don't know if it's as just a regular part of learning about steam engines or if it's only during Black History Month, because I feel that if he was such an icon in the, you know, steam engine industry, then he should be somebody that is recognized there no matter the skin color. So yeah, so that is day 12. I hope that you enjoyed learning this information. If you did, then please don't forget to give this video a like. I would absolutely appreciate it. And for now, that is all. If you want to look up either of these two figures, then, you know, go ahead and do so. If you are interested in these cards, then urbanintellectuals.com is where you can go to find them. And otherwise, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you.